Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to part 3 of our MOA Crawler build series. Now, I, as you may have noticed, I'm not in my usual filming spot. Well, this is my garage, this is where I do most of my work. And so, you may have also noticed that it's come a long way since the last video. In the last video, we, had, we only had this front axle with its dual servo steering. But from then, I've, I've worked a lot and built the spine and the rear axle. So it's starting to look a lot more like the actual crawler. Now this is a, a prototype so this may not be the same as it will be in the final version. And um, as you can see I've also started soldering my wires in. I've soldered them into the motors and I've covered them in this um, type of sheath material to just keep them safe. Because when you're crawling, the last thing you want is for your insulation to be grazed, and that may cause like a short, and who knows what else. My servo wires have also been sheathed. Um, I've created these plates. They hold practically all my wires, keep them nice, and they also hold my suspension. Now my battery will be sitting underneath the crawler, un under this plexiglass, um, ta plexiglass skid, skid plate. Now I've also um, switched out the Tamiya plugs for the Dean's Super Plugs. Now these ones, they like four bucks off J-Car and basically just cut off the Tamiya's and soldered these in. Also covered the rest in sheath and some um, shrink wrap. So we have our two rear motors, sa same as the fronts, with the C adapters. Um, as you can see, pretty good articulation, if you get there, pretty good. Uh, someone who's seen part 2 may already know that I have dual servo steering, the Tab Pro MG946Rs, which are digital high torque servos, 12 kilogram centimeters on each. So that equals to about uh, 24 altogether. Now, you may be wondering, why do I need so much torque, right? So. Basically, the idea is if you have your tires stuck between two rocks, you want to be able to like try and lever lever your tires out so you can continue crawling, which is why you need that much torque. Uh, my 3,000 milliamp battery. So in this slot up here, I'll be mounting my brain box, which contain which contains my motorboard, my Arduino Nano, and uh, my XB shield. So basically, I'll be plugging in like so. Um, still have to tidy up these wires, you need to like just use some cable ties, tie them back up nicely. Um, these wires still aren't trimmed correctly, so the, like this one is a bit too long, I'll trim it back later when I stick in the brain box. And so, each one of these motors that you see in these motor housings, they each have like 4 kilogram centimeters of torque. So. If you have times those by four, that's 16 kilogram centimeters of torque for the whole crawler. Now this thing is still reasonably light. The est I estimate that the final crawler will be maybe about 2.5 kilograms. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just ran these cables through a hole that I drilled with one cable tie holding them in there. So you can get some. The the, the wire still keeps out of the way when when it turns. I still have to work out my uh, shock absorber configuration because you have to make sure that they don't get in the way of these wires and I have to make sure they don't get in the way of the cable tie. Uh, I'm planning to, to keep the front ones on droop though so they have a lot more freedom that, and the back ones keep them on sprung just to keep the whole thing upright. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, press the like button and if you want, subscribe.